On the way to New Orleans, we've made a stop in Mobile, Alabama, the original birthplace of Mardi Gras in the USA. Founded by the French in 1702 as the then capital of Louisiana, Mobile is an arbiter of Creole and Cajun culture, and well worth checking out. A stop by the city's whimsical Mardi Gras Museum will give anyone interested a good backdrop from which to understand the festival. Though the city boasts a number of other museums and attractions too. And while I'm not a military buff, if that's your thing, then don't miss the USS Alabama and accompanying gallery. While Mobile is worth exploring, New Orleans, Louisiana is famous for a reason. Its French Quarter is stunning, a glorious place to stroll around. The further you get from Jackson Square, the fewer tourists you'll find, so make time to explore around the edges of the neighborhood. The next neighborhood, Hip Marini, has authentic jazz clubs aplenty. From the Garden District to labyrinthine cemeteries like Lafayette, New Orleans is a visual feast. Of course, with all this French influence, it's no secret that New Orleans culinary culture is top notch. From bourbon to gourmet seafood, foodies will be on cloud nine. Whilst there's no shortage of fine dining establishments, a dish at the heart of this city is its hearty, humble po'boy. We went to Parkway, one of the oldest po'boy spots in New Orleans. Well, you know, it, it takes a lot of work to say poor, then so you just say po'boy, you know, and uh, take rid of, take, get, get, get the R out of there. And uh, that's where it comes from, the first poor boy sandwich with fried potatoes and gravy and potatoes were cheap back then at the time. Uh, and they'd hack up potatoes, put them on French bread, put that roast beef gravy and debris on it, and that was the first poor boy sandwich. For live music, the city is tough to beat. And of course, if you like to go out in the town, New Orleans is truly 24 hours. There's always a party somewhere, and drinking on the streets isn't a violation. There are so many layers to peel back in this vibrant, ever resilient culture hub. A city with no parallel, like nowhere else in America, or the world at large. When you're tuckered out from soaking up the city, the historic, spacious plantations of River Road aren't far away. Stop in St. Francisville for a welcome dose of peace and quiet.